Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this very cute wooden survival house. Before we get started, I'd kind of like to show you the inside the house first. It has a little surprise. So there's two ways into the house. Number one, you can climb up this ladder and enter it like this. Or alternatively, you can come up the side where we have this staircase here and enter it the same way. Inside we have a little interior, about as much as you'd expect from a house this small. But what I like about this house is I have built in a secret room underneath it. Now this is not a part of the tutorial, this is kind of a separate little thing that I just kind of added in here. You may notice this button on top of the crafting table. It's easy to miss. If you press this button and stand in front of the right spot, you'll find that you fall all the way down into the little hidden bunker below the actual house where we have a bed and chanting table and an ender chest and some armor. You might be wondering to yourselves, how do I actually get out of here? Well, it's quite simple. All you do is you make your way over to here where we have opened this trap door. We drop into this hole and by the way, you can't actually get back in uh, unless you use some ladders or some blocks or some stuff. Uh, but you can get out and you will actually exit all the way on the back of the house just like that. Now, if you like the look of this house, please do remember to hit that that like button I'd really appreciate that I honestly would and please let me know whether you'd like to see this feature in a video all by itself whether you'd like to see the hidden room and hidden room mechanism because this house really lends itself well to it and I think it's just something that you can put in a load of houses it's really easy you barely need any redstone knowledge at all please let me know in the comments if you want to make any more survival bases, please do check out the card system and the description below for my survival place playlist. And of course, if you want to see who gets a shout out, make it all the way to the end of the video. It could be you. But without any further ado, let's get started. So I can tell you that this particular wooden survival house will require about an 11 block, 11 blocks coming across the front, by about a 9 block, 9 blocks going front to back, area we don't really require much more than this however you might want to place some bushes and stuff around the house and then you're going to need a little bit more room we also need all of these materials that i've placed in my inventory right now and do bear in mind i am not featuring the hidden room in this particular tutorial if you guys want it please let me know and maybe i'll make you but please make sure you've got all of these materials right here Starting with the ones in the hotbar, pause the video if necessary, and we can begin. So, let's say that you yourself have actually made this grid in your world, and you want to, if you have made this grid, start in the front left-hand corner of the grid. You want to then move your way to the right by two. One, two. And on top of this spot in particular, we want to place three spruce wood. One, two, three. And you also want to place three spruce wood behind it. So, one, two two, three. You want to then place a row of birchwood planks to the right of that spruce wood. With then a row of spruce wood to the right of the planks. And also in front. There you go. What we then want to do is we want to place upon the back two pair of spruce wood, we want to place a birchwood plank. So here and here. And on top of that, a birchwood slab each, here and here. Now, going right of the back right hand corner spruce wood, so this one in particular that we stacked the birchwood on, we want to go right by three using the dark oak wood slabs. One, two, and three. And behind that, you want to place a row of birchwood planks. So, preferably, I mean, it's kind of tricky this. But you know what? Behind it, place the birchwood planks, just like this. Like that. Behind the dark oak wood slabs. You'll have this sort of effect right here. But what you also want to do is, upon those birchwood planks, you want to place another row. Like that. And in front of the top, of those planks, place a row of dark oak wood slams. Like this. So this is the effect that you're looking for. Now, we actually kind of want to do the same thing in uh, in both degrees here. So on top of the birch wood planks that we have here, you want to stack a row of glass pane, and then a row of birch wood planks. Like that. 
and you can even stack a row of white glass block, specifically block this time. Like this. And funnily enough, coming downwards, we want to place below these birchwood planks that we have down here, you want to place a row of glass, and then a row of birchwood planks, like this. So, all in all, you want to have something which should look exactly like that. Now, you then want to take this row of birchwood planks that we have up here that has the glass on it and below it, you want to extend the birchwood planks to the left, with the goal of being able to connect those planks downwards, and you want to be able to connect them as down as far as the birchwood planks that we had to ex that we pre-existingly had. And you also want to place a row of birchwood planks coming down from here that will give the glass something to grip onto. So you can imagine that we want to have something that should look like this. Now, what we also want to do from this point here as well is we want to take the spruce wood block that we have here, the spruce wood, and you want to extend this wood backwards, this wood specifically, back by six using spruce wood. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Like that. Maybe we even have a little bit of extra room. Oh, we do, because the roof actually comes out further than the actual bottom of the house. We then want to come across the back of the house by six as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we want to go up on top of the sixth block by... We want to go up on top of it by... Let me count. By five. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. That's actually perfect. Okay, on top of all of these spruce woods on the ground, I want you to stack an additional spruce wood. So, just as you can see me doing now, stack an additional spruce wood. Then, leaving half a row's gap, you want to place a row of dark oak wood slabs that sits just half a row above the actual spruce wood that, were just, that we just placed earlier. So, just like this. Perfect. Now, we want to place, and this is this is where things might get a little bit tricky as well. So, now we want to place a row of birchwood planks on top of all of those dark oak, dark oak wood slams, like this. Fill in the entire back part of this using birchwood planks. There are no windows on the back of the house, as there are windows on the front, left, and right. I figure you don't need them on every single side. You can add one if you want, though. Uh, on the left hand side, however, we want to, starting from the left here, moving right, we want to place ourselves a plank, and then two glass, preferably pane, one, two, and then a plank. Fill the above part of this in using some virtual planks, like that. Then, we want to make this window look a bit more interesting, so we're actually going to place a dark oak wood fence left and right of the window, and we're going to place an upside down dark oak wood stair underneath the fence, um, pointing in the directions like the left one wants to point left and the right one wants to point right, pretty much. Uh, we then want to, what do we want to do? We want to create a window box, and a window box pretty much means a grass block, some wooden trapdoors. You might not have grass, of course, you might need some dirt, but um, some dirt or grass, and we want to place wooden trapdoors in front of those, and then below them, like this. And then you can take your grass or whatever material you use and place poppies or whatever your favourite flower or plant or whatever it is on top of that. It looks quite nice like that. That's I, I, I think it makes the wall look a little bit more interesting. And speaking of interesting, if we come to the front of the house now, we want to, in front of this window that we have at the bottom of the front of the house, we actually want another um, another window box as well. So if we grab the grass or dirt, you'll probably have dirt, place a row of dirt in front of the actual three windows that we have on the front of the house. And you can place yourself uh, some wooden trap doors in front of them as well, and then use your favourite flower, because we want to conceal it a little bit. Because you see, if you do actually put a hidden base in this house, we kind of want to tease the fact that there's one there by adding a window, because then people are going and they'll be like, what, I thought this thing had a basement, what, what gives? That's what the window's for. Well, anyway, going right of the grass 
right here, we want to place a spruce wood, and we want to extend the spruce wood upwards. And the spruce wood wants to go up by one, two, three, four, five, six. No, actually, by five. It only wants to go up as high as uh, as the birch wood, not as high as the glass. You can see that it goes up as high as the row of um, spruce wood that we have on the back of the house. That is kind of important. Well, anyway, once you've done all of that, the next thing for us to do is going to be to add an entrance. Uh, another entrance, because we do already have one. Uh, so going right of this spruce wood that we just placed on the ground here and rose up, place a birch wood stair. And then right of that, a spruce wood stair. And extend the spruce wood backwards until that you'll eventually be able to connect to the back of the house like this. Perfect. And we want to be able to also gradually extend these stairs upwards. So you're going to want to place a set of, three st of two stairs coming up from this one. So imagine you have the one, place a block behind it and another stair on top, and place a block behind that and another stair on top. So we only want to go three high, like this. And then I'm going to build spruce wood next to the stairs like this on the right. And then I'm going to make all of the other spruce woods as high as that spruce wood, like this. So now that we have a good walkway. And I'm going to place birch fence on top of all of the spruce. And I'm going to connect it at the back as well, just like that. Well, now that we've done that, we do have to create an entrance of some sort. So, we want to take this top back spruce wood right here, and we want to extend it towards the front by two. One, two. And then we want to go down by two as well. One, two. Like this. And we want to extend all of these three spruce woods coming towards the front of the house by using birch wood planks like this. So take every single one of those and extend it forwards using birch wood planks like that and you can't really go too far wrong. Now if you come inside the house, you then want to cover up this empty space that we have with the stairs and we want to use some birch wood planks. In doing this as well, we will also seal up this area right here with the glass. And you may also want to destroy perhaps that block, because maybe maybe later on this will be like a little escape route out of the house. Maybe. We'll have to see if I end up doing that video, but eh, we'll, we'll just have to see. We also want to be able to walk up to the door, so I'm just going to place some uh, virtual planks here and here. And that way, if you have a look from the outside, then now we can actually blub, walk all the way up. I'm also going to give the house a floor, so the floor is just going to be in this position right here. I'm sure that you guys can easily figure out where the floor was, because uh, we do kind of have like... Uh... Oh, also, we want to uh, have the glass pane cling on something. Um, because we already uh, knew where like the stairs ended and where the ladders would end on the front, um, it's quite easy to figure out where the, uh, where the actual uh, floor would go in. And now that we've done this, uh, we now want to, and it's important to figure out exactly. Okay, so now we want to grab the uh, glass block, I almost called it grass, and we want to extend this row of free glass block that we have at the, at the top of the house. We want to extend it to the left by an additional three. One, two, and three. And we want to extend it backwards as well. And across the back, and we want to connect it in its original position. So uh, we're looking for something that should look like this. You can see we've sanded it across, it sat on top of the virtual planks, back, across, and then connected it back to the start. Now, once you've done that, the house looks so weird like this. Uh, we want to grab the dark oak wood slabs. And we want to place a row of dark oak wood slabs in two positions. To begin, we want to have a row of dark oak wood slabs that sits all underneath the glass block, like this. Just all underneath the glass block, coming all the way around the outside of the house, like this. And it will stop on the opposite, um, on top of this spruce wood. I don't think it goes any further around. No, it goes as far as that. And we also want to have a row of dark oak wood slabs that goes all the way around the top of the glass. So the only glass block that is visible is uh, in front of, is sandwiched in between the two dark oak wood uh, slabs pretty much. 
and that gives you that kind of like cool modern look but with a nice wooden finish. I really like it. If you like, you can also fill the top of the house in. I would recommend glass because I, I like the light. I think, uh, I think it looks a lot better than uh, having a really dark build. There we go. Now we do have to place two doors, one of which is of course here. Oh, and we're missing ladders. So uh, the way that you get into the house, the first way, there's two. Um, you can climb up here, which will require ladders. And then a door will be placed there. Or alternatively, you can walk up these stairs on the right and a door can be placed there. I'm just noticing, but I don't miss it. Uh, there should be a window here on the right hand side. Um, it's right here. Now, it doesn't really offer much to the house, but I'll place it anyway. In the middle here is a, you just place a glass pane pretty much. And uh, I also placed some wooden trap doors around it because the window looked a bit boring <laughs> um, all by itself. Uh, an alternate to this is perhaps you could add like window shutters like this. Mm, it, it just doesn't quite look right. That's why I don't miss the window because it didn't really add too much to the house. And you can't add like say, uh, you know, like you can't add anything underneath the window because then you can't get in the house. So it's quite, pred it's quite a predicament really. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the actual house itself complete. I think it's a very cute easy survival house, I don't think it's too difficult to make, and it also lends itself, I mean it's honestly up to you whether you utilise this, but it does very easily lend itself to, uh, oh, I, I, missed, uh, I missed a couple of blocks, uh, no, but I've just destroyed that block, I'm an idiot, but uh, it does also lend itself to a nice little basement down here as well, or a hidden entrance, so it's, you know, it's kind of up to you as to uh, what you do with the house, and uh, I guess what I'm going to do now, and uh, it's pretty much all I'm going to do, is I'm going to go away, I'm going to get rid of the grid, and uh, I might add a little bit of uh, like a path and stuff around the house, but you know, nothing that you guys can add yourselves if you wanted to. So I'll be back in a moment. So this is what the build should look like once it's been 100% fully completed. Yours might look a little bit different to mine because you might not decide to add some hedge and a little bit of a path, maybe you'll add a little bit of a lake or maybe even a pond or some trees or stuff to your build, but I've decided to keep mine nice and simple. I did also furnish the inside a little bit, just kind of display that you can get, you know, you can get some building materials, you can get some utilities in here if you do want to. And that's pretty much everything, guys. I'm hoping that you did enjoy this tutorial. I really like this house. I haven't built a small wooden survival house in so long that I, it was nice to actually make and design one. If you did enjoy the video, please do remember to like it, though. It really, really does help me out. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you'd like to make some more survival related houses and bases and hidden bases and hidden survival tree houses and stuff, please check out the current system in the description below. I do all sorts of different builds, ranging from modern to survival to fantasy to that's the Witherstorm over there, you guys get the idea. That's a floating planet with a, a house on either side. You get, you guys get the idea. I do a little bit of everything. Please check out the card system in the description below. And on top of all of those things, thank you so much for watching, guys. Wait until the end of the video to see who gets shouted out in the subscriber shout out. It could be you this time, or if it's not, maybe it'll be you next time. Who knows? Thank you so much, and goodbye! And this video's subscriber shout out goes to. Kanan Collar. Thank you, Kanan, for being such a loyal subscriber. I see you comment on pretty much every single one of my videos. It's not very often that I don't see you in the comment section. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate you. And if you guys would like to check out Kanan's channel, then please do check that out in the description below. I'll be leaving a link to it. I'm not sure whether Kanan has any videos, although I am checking right now. Doesn't seem to, but it would be nice if you guys maybe went over there and subscribed just to show a little bit of support. Who knows, just for the fun of it. Also, I did ask you guys in my last video in the comment section to tell some jokes and I'd, I figured that I'd pick probably the funniest joke. I was going to pick Kanan anyway before I actually said the whole joke thing, but he did contribute. I, I'm just assuming he, I'm sorry if, if you are a she Kanan, but I mean, your your avatar is cookies, so I, I, re <laughs> I really don't know what to assume. But I kind of liked this, although it's a bit morbid. 
Two hunters are out in the woods, when one of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing and his eyes are glazed. The other guy whips out his phone and calls the emergency services. He gasps, my friend is dead, what can I do? The operator says, calm down, I can help. First, let's make sure he's dead. So, there's a silence, then a shot's heard. Comes back to the phone, the guy says, okay, what now? Okay, so his hunter friend, basically he shot his friend just to make sure he was dead because the operator said so. I completely butchered the wording of that joke, but I still, still, it, it got a little bit of a chuckle out of me. So thank you once again, Kanan. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for liking the videos, subscribing, clicking the little bell next to the subscription button, and for just leaving nice comments down below. I really do appreciate that, and all of you guys that do that too. If you would like to be featured at the end of one of these videos, that is definitely the best way to go about it. Or maybe throw out a joke. Who knows? That's the fun. Thank you so much, guys. It might not have been you this time, but definitely could be you next time. I'll see you in the next video.